we are spending 24 hours in one of the world's most extreme zoos, getting to do some stuff people do not normally get to see. Hi, Shaba! Oh my gosh! Okay, guys, so we're about to meet Zola the Aardvark, which reminds me of Arthur, which used to be one of my favorite shows ever. How many inches no. do you think her tongue is? Foot and three inches. I think it's like 11 inches. Do you know how many inches it, it is? I do, but I'm gonna have to show you what it looks like first. Okay. okay, fingers crossed, I'm right. Zola. Oh my god! I'm ready. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have what's called the Aardvark snow cones, okay? Her favorite treats. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna touch them. Right but it's okay, you don't have to touch them. So that's why we have the snow cones. What the oh heck? Oh my goodness. She really is eating it like a snow cone. So what we're actually gonna show you is this nice big fake termite mound we have right here. In the wild, she will find an opening like that and she'll start using her tongue to start gathering up all those insects. So now we're actually gonna look and see what her tongue actually looks like. You're gonna tell us in inches how long her tongue is. I'm gonna show it to you first. Okay. I feel like there's money involved. Is there a bet going on? I don't know. No, about. I just really enjoy being correct. <laughs> that's true. Are we ready for this? I'm yes. ready. All right. Whoa. So okay. this tube is about 14 inches long. Dang! I got 15! Can she, can't, put... she can't quite reach the it's end It's missed about uh -huh. two inches, though. So she has close to an 11 inch. <laughs> Get out of here! I'm irritated <laughs> by Maddie right now. You can't be that irritated. There's an aardvark right here. Oh, look! They're running over there! He's swinging! Yeah. He's, oh, look! He just jumped! Did you see that? Who do you think's personality in the office matches this animal? That little tiny thing over there? That's Emily. This guy is, like, very classy and calm. I was gonna say John Asen. Ah, <gasps> yes! Guys, there's a porcupine over here. We're on the worst side of a porcupine. Yeah, let's go over here. Okay, have you ever heard of the story, lions and tigers and bears? Before we leave, I wanna see all three. So we have found the tigers, so we need bears and lions. I wanna take a nap that hard. Okay, so we are here at the rhino exhibit. We are about to feed a rhino. So what I'm gonna do, Brianna, is I'm gonna introduce you to Masa. Okay. Our greater one-horned rhino. Now know that rhinos are herbivores. They eat plants, right? Okay. Apples are one of his favorites. Okay. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh. And give him some apples. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. He really likes the apples. Yeah, he does. He sounds like Preston when he eats. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, they really are easier to feed than I thought it would be. <laughs> Oh, Brie, I said it was easy and then I did that. <laughs> Their skin is very um, rough, but uh -huh. they will roll in the mud to protect it from sunlight. So that's why it looks like he needs some lotion. You have apples, I have a carrot. Let's see which one he likes more. Whichever one hand is goes he... in the mouth, you have to give it to Me. her. There you oh, go. Oh, man. <laughs> he liked the apples more earlier. So yeah, look, now she's only choosing the apples. Oh, yeah. So she's oh. a really great ambassador. Okay. How many apples has Brie dropped? I'm going to guess it's somewhere around 10. Oh. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, Brie. Oh, I'm having fun and dropping things. <laughs> so Brie is obviously like having a great time today feeding animals at a zoo. I went to the gift store and I bought this little snakey. And I'm going to try to fool Brie at some point today and make her think that it's a real snake. So all I need to do is get the backpack from Brie, shove it inside, and then spook her. That's the plan. Okay, so we are about to be up close and personal watching a zebra get fed, which is really cool. It's so cool, especially because apparently they're kind of dangerous. I know, so. I had no idea. I thought it was like a horse, which I grew up riding. So I was like, oh, this is easy. It's not like a horse. Yeah. You're good. Cut her, just stay on the neck right oh, in this okay. area. Her name is Zari. She's a grant zebra. Why are you petting her? Feel the striping pattern. Can you feel the difference in the stripes? I can. It confuses a lot of the insects, and I cannot oh. figure out where to land on her body. The stripes are also a great camouflage, but not in the sense of camouflaging with their environment. She sticks out. Yes, like she, There's definitely. no way she's camouflaging. If she does um, stand with her herd, she's camouflaging with that herd. That's called dazzle camouflage. Why? are zebras striped? Because they don't want to be spotted. Because they don't want to be <laughs> spotted! Ooh, you suck! Tasmania Devil! <laughs> oh, he's sleeping! Do you see his name? McLovin. I'm McLovin you. Oh, no! Preston out the door. McLovin is in. It's getting weird. We found a wombat. We found one. What YouTuber is a red panda? Something cute and fluffy. I was going to say Vi... Quant. I could definitely see red panda vibes. She's freaking cute. <laughs> Look at his little body. Very similar to a potato. Like an old potato. <laughs> Is this a mountain goat? Let me see. Tackins. A tackin. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. I already hit the snake in the bush, but now I need the backpack. Brie, um, what's up? You, you are randomly filming me in this car. Do you, what's up? Do you mind if I just like, take the backpack really yeah. fast maybe? For sure. 
plus weight on my back. Yeah, yes it is. Here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I can spread out now. I need to go back, find the snake, and I'll try to hide it in here. What? No, nothing. So we're about to meet Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Oh, Stop it. She's like a puppy. She, we are going to be setting up for her afternoon snack, cleaning out her stall, doing tons of stuff I never thought my entire life I'd get to do for an elephant. I mean, I know elephants are big, but they're like big. So what we're gonna do is actually lower down this guy. This contraption drops, I think probably twice a day. And these are the little hay holes. There's a trunk hole on the other side for her to like grab through. For Debbie. For, for Debbie. Debbie. We are setting treats around the exhibit and we're gonna put them on the exterior of the exhibit so people can see her easily. Surprise! This is a popular lettuce area. Debbie will like it so much, she's telling you to like the video. Oh, just throws it into the water. Poop! Debbie has a poop pile over here. We oh gotta clean up. Oh my gosh. Guys, I will say this is something I never in my life thought I would be doing. Brie, you got it, good job. They poop about 300 pounds per day. Per day? Oh my goodness. She's about to go eat snacks that me and Maddie put out, so I'm very excited. I've never fed an elephant before, so it's a big moment. She's going for the hay first. Yeah. Oh, Oh yeah, the door, the, the pull out. You put the food there. Yeah. Oh, there's the first mouthful. Oh yeah. Okay, you guys, because we have such an amazing time in the elephant exhibit, I'm going to donate $100, and I technically get to adopt an African elephant. So this is for me in Preston. So this is a cheetah. I've never been this close to a cheetah before. Literally one of my favorite animals. Me too. I love big cats as well. Oh, look at her. She just wants some pets. Do you hear it? I swear it's purring. I really want to know if y'all can hear this. Listen. Eloise is a house cat. She is a descendant of big cats. Okay. Well, I think we're giving Eloise a little bit too much credit here. <laughs> Bray. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Okay, well welcome you guys. We are at the koala exhibit. They're still a little sleepy, but we're about to go feed them tons of eucalyptus. I'm excited! Whoa! <laughs> okay, this is how the eucalyptus comes to us, and I'm gonna pick three to four different species. Let's choose this one. Whoa! <laughs> so you have to put basically together a flower arrangement, just like you would do tulips, roses, hydrangeas, except it's different types of eucalyptus. Apparently, they like these little top parts. So let's find one that has a bunch. They'll love it. Let's hold it up. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're a pro. <laughs> and then we've got a Thai. Oh, OK. Omeo. Omeo. He was hand raised here. His mom passed away from cancer when he was five months old in the pouch. We took a chance on hand raising him. We weren't sure if he was going to make it. And he did. And he's two and a half now. Oh, that's and so Mount, his name Omeo means mountains, and we chose it because we had to climb some mountains, he had to climb some mountains to get to where we are today, and yeah, he's super special. Okay, we're going to deliver the goods. Whee! Be royal, be you. This Black Friday and Cyber Monday, the entire store is 30% off, only on freemerch.com. He looks like a grandpa, I love him. So when the little fuzzies at the top have been eaten, apparently it's a winner, according to Lindsay. Is he gonna reject it? I'll be so sad. <laughs> so that little snort sound apparently kind of alerts the other male koalas that he's around. It was threatening. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, he is going in. Bree, that's your bundle he's eating. I know, and he likes it, so that makes me happy. I think you got a five-star rating. I didn't know Bree was so koala to make a bundle. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. He can't even, he stopped chewing. <laughs> he was like, oh, what? He's what are you telling us. me right now? Okay, I haven't been able to scare Bree yet because she keeps walking away. I'm just waiting for the right moment. That was weird. So new plan, replace that fake snake with this real snake. It's huge. Oh, okay. <gasps> Maybe I can Harry Potter the glass. Not exactly working. Giraffes, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they literally are walking towards us. Guys, I think that's a baby. Oh my gosh. Masai. Oh look, he knows his he name. He definitely knows his name. Best giraffe impression, go. Model. 
Also, Zabumafu was my favorite show as a child, so I remember these random facts, like their knees are backwards. Can you tell? Yes. It's kind of strange. Have you ever seen a giraffe trip? Hi. Oh no. God. Does that happen? I'm sure. Everyone trips. Hey, Siri. Has a giraffe tripped? Before? Ever in the history of the world? Uh, Siri says yes. No. They're too graceful and beautiful. Now, I'm gonna leave them in peace so they can enjoy their meal. Okay, guys, so we just finished dinner and we happened upon a bear. Yet again, lions, bear. tigers, bears. But this bear is sassy. sassy. He does this and then stands up and Wait, look at him, wait, look wait, at him, wait. he's doing it, he's doing it. Hey, bud. Oh, Stop. yes. So we have lions, tigers, and bears. Last animal on the list. <clears throat> no, please don't. Roar! I don't know you. <laughs> Brie went to go feed another animal, and she left the backpack with me right here. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the snake out of the backpack. Backpack is a bad idea. So then when she walks up to me, I can just grab the snake, throw it on her, and she's gonna think that it's a real snake. I wanna say thank you so much, San Diego Zoo, for letting us film here. It's been amazing. Click the link below. This is a non-profit zoo, so it would be amazing if you wanted to donate. The sun is finally setting. It's been an amazing day here at the zoo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>